Good evening. I've got something to say to Seattle tonight. Portland and Vancouver have been kicking our rock and roll butts for too long. Something has to be done about it. They've been conniving against us since the beginning of rock and roll history in the Northwest. Now look at Louie Louie. The Whalers recorded it here first, had a local hit, and the next thing you know, the Kingsmen from Portland stole it and turned it into one of the biggest rock and roll hits of all time. The Sonics and the Whalers were great Seattle bands during that era, but who got the big bucks and the weekly television show? Paul Revere and the Raiders with those dippy hats and colonial suits. That's just what you'd expect from a state of bottle and tin can collectors. Now what about Hart? Biggest success out of Seattle, huh? But where did their big hit album, the one that launched their huge career, come from? Vancouver, Canada. We don't even take their money anymore. Well, they did free the hostages, though, but now they've got rock and roll hostage. What are the most world-famous punk bands from the Northwest? DOA, Vancouver, The Wipers, Portland. And what's wrong with you Seattle punks? You're punking out. Now, what about the most famous regular rock and rollers? Brian Adams, he's selling millions. Vancouver, Johnny Kuntz, big record deal. Portland, who are the baddest, most famous funk bands to come out of the Northwest? Vancouver. Okay, so there's not that much funk in Vancouver, but look at Portland. There's Pleasure, Million Sellers, and Shock, who are doing great. Now look at Jazz. Jeff Lorber Fusion is from Portland. I know you say Kenny Gorlick is from Seattle, but he had to go down to Portland and join up with Jeff Lorber before he could put out an album of his own as Kenny G. Now what about Quarter Flash? Now this was a bar band called Seafood Mama that used to open for Seattle groups at the Rainbow. What happens? They go to number one. Where are the bands they open for? Still playing the same bars. What's next? We'll have the Bhagwan Sri Rajneesh playing electric guitar before a Seattle band makes it big. We're letting a bunch of wimpy granola eaters and people who aren't even American push us around. Now why is this happening? Who is responsible? I don't know. It's the great mystery of Northwest music, and the situation is getting out of hand. If those cities can do it, we can do it. Portland doesn't even have a football team, and the BC Lions only have three downs. So let's go, Seattle. Let's support our rock and roll and push it to number one. Maybe someday. <laughs>